anything you can uh, take this for your reference about the length the longer the towel the greater will be the retention but it is not like this that you can remove all you can put the post hole because if you post put the post hole of the length there will be the micro leakage there so you have to make the longer is good and two third is greater and if you see tooth with this is if you see this is two three quarter the length and this is only half of the length then you see what will be the problem when the um, forces will be uh, come here it will not fracture but here just at this area it will get fractured so as uh, much length you can give it has a great chance of the uh, good uh, process and if there is length which is short then there is a less chance of success this chances of fracture now this one term which has to be used with the post and core especially when you are making the crown that is called a ferrule effect ferrule effect is what do you mean by ferrule effect if you see this is your remaining uh, tooth structure and you have to make the crown here if you see half of this area or the upper portion is the amalgam restoration okay so when you are making your crown preparation you have to include this sound tooth structure that is very important this is called ferrule you have to put your crown margins or you can call your margins of finish line should always be on the sound tooth structure will never never be on the restoration why because if your restoration will break your crown will go out but if your crown is on the sound tooth structure it will not fracture that much easily so the encirclement means complete coverage from all the side the encirclement of 1 to 2 mm of the vertical axial tooth structure within the walls of a crown creates a ferrule effect around the tooth to protect it from fracture if the minimum of 1 mm of the vertical this is called vertical axial wall cannot be covered by a crown minimum 1 mm cannot be covered better you will go for the extraction of that tooth okay so what is the importance the ferrule provide bracing or casing action to protect the integrity of the root if you see here uh, this is your post and uh, this is your novel uh, post and core you can call it simply and this is your crown and you see here that uh, you have you have covered this crown this natural crown with the uh, this crown it will cover the natural root structure you prepared the finish line here but you see here this is uh, you see here the uh, this is your um restoration and your margin is this much 1 mm down if you see this is the restoration it is at the same level what happens it will fracture this is a vertical fracture at this area same is a thing if you covered this area your crown it will cover this root structure there will be the good protection against it if you have not covered your margins is on the restoration it will just you see all of the tooth structure has been fractured your root will be fractured so what you have to do either you can orthodontic extrusion or crown lengthening surgery may be needed to prevent encroachment on the periodontal tissue and your this is very 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 important thing until the level 12 or even your uh, interns they keep on asking the same thing always that uh, whether it is uh, we can restore the tooth or we cannot restore the and always i told you whenever you are going for the crown or bridge area first you need to see whether you can cover the uh, solid tooth structure if the solid tooth structure is not there you cannot make the crown over that so that situation you have to go for it. extraction and i told you why ferrule is important uh, or even you can go for surgery or all these things you, you just have to make the 2 mm of the tooth structure available then you will able to save the tooth now the type of the post according to the material there are so many classifications so according to the material you can see uh, it is prefabricated or post fabricated prefabricated may be metal may be non metal 
Metal means chromium alloys, titanium, brass, or non-metal means maybe carbon fiber or maybe ceramic fiber. Today the net is very slow. So these are the type of the um, post different uh, types of post you can see. This is uh, non-metal. Maybe it is a uh, ceramic one, all ceramic, or uh, maybe it is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber will be black in color, and this is all metal. Now, according to the retention, there's active pose, they have passive pose. For active pose, it may be threaded, split threaded, more retentive than the passive post, increased stresses cause potential for well. You know, the active, because it is threaded, you have to thread it. And there, so there's a chances of vertical fracture, but it is indication for the short canal. If it is passive, it may be smooth. It has to be cemented to the root canal. Zinc phosphate, glass, and more cement has to be. For active one, you just have to thread it in the canal so that it will go into the place. So, but it has the chances of fracture, vertical fracture there. Now, according to the fabrication, there's prefabricated and there is custom made. For prefabricated, there are many, many type. Maybe it is tapered, maybe it is parallel. For both of them, there is smooth and threaded type. For both of them, maybe it is tapered, tapered, it is smooth, but it is tapered, maybe threaded. It is parallel, maybe smooth, parallel, but threaded. Custom made means you have to make according to the root canal. If you see here, parallel, smooth. This is tapered, serrated, threaded, parallel. Okay, smooth, threaded. Okay, so all of them, these have different types. Now you have either the two unit system or one unit system. For the two unit system, there is post and core, that is another thing, and crown, that is separate. So the, the core and attachment are made separately from the definitive restoration. Definitive restoration means your crown, final crown. So the crown is then fabricated and cemented over the core just as the restoration would be placed over the preparation made in the tooth structure. It is like what they are uh, told you that uh, either you made the post and build the core over there and over the core you made tooth preparation. And after that you will make the crown. So this crown and post and core is one thing and crown is other thing and it has to be cemented later on just as you normally uh, do the tooth preparation and you will put the crown there uh, advantages is the margin adaptation and fit of the restoration are independent of dowel that must be used um, the restoration be replaced in feet if the necessary without disturbing the dowel core if the dowel is necessary the choice is not limited to the custom cast device Prefabricated system can be used and all you have a lot of systems there. You can use many of them. In the underdontically treated to serve as a fixed partial denture abutment, it is not necessary to make the root canal preparation that should be parallel to the path of insertion. One system means you have crown uh, with the dowel inside of your own. Um, uh, that has to be made in one uh, go. And we will have this practical part as well. That is the custom made part. So prefabricated dowel with amalgam or resin core, you have prefabricated dowel and you can make uh, the amalgam or composite resin cores over it. And this is the most commonly used dowel core system today. Amalgam provide greater strength, but composite resin can easily place, polymerize in minutes and, you, and it allow work on the core preparation, like tooth preparation to progress almost immediately. Resin requires less bulk of material than does amalgam, which make it useful on the small teeth. Now, the procedure, if you see, this is your endodontic treaty tooth, and you have to go there and you have to remove this GP point here. And once you have go, you go and you have opened this area with the help of the round bar, you have to use the GG that is called a gate skeleton. You have to use this gate skeleton. This gate skeleton, if you see, this is only the edge which has the cutting part, and you will prepare according to your length which has been decided before you start it. Once you have done with the gate skeleton, you have to increase the space with the piezo reamer. The piezo reamer has to be increased like this. It has more part, more cutting part there. And after here, they just write there the post space preparation.
use uh, some of the with some of the post there is drill also available you can use that drill to fit that area also after you have done these things uh, you have to uh, this dentine pre treatment then you have to place a luting agent and you have to place a post and over this uh, post you have to you and one of the thing is that post it should be appear in the coronal region if you cut it at this area there is no advantage of the post because this post has to support this core area because there is no tooth structure so it has to be supported with the help of this post the, uh, the main theme uh, will be gone if you remove at this point because the theme of this post is the retention of the core part inside and this retention is obtained with the help of the post with the help of this root canal area and after this you build it up you have to prepare for the crown or you can call it as abutment of preparation you have to do this will be done in your practical part you will understand nicely there uh, this is the two structure we have to remove it or you can call it this the preparation uh, you have to do according to your, this is your post space preparation here a hand piece driven twist drill Sometimes, if uh, your uh, you have a difference in your preparation plus your post, then you have to make this post drill, which is available with the post system, and you can use it to make the post space equal to the post. You can have you can see long chain round birds. This is your great skeleton here, and this is your piezo trimmer here. This is your preparation here. This is your filling of this area. This is the core build up. Uh, this thing, this is your metal post, which is being tried uh, so that it will go to the area which uh, how much you have prepared it should be. Um, it should fit on that area. You can see here they are maybe how much you have prepared and they will put it according to it. This is the try. You can make it shorter and you will uh, try again that it, you have prepared this area, it should fit in the area you prepared. Okay, glass enamel luting cement then spun down because for the metal post, you have to use the glass enamel uh, cement. There's a rotary paste filler. You have to put it there and you have to put the um, this uh, cement there and then you have to put it there. Um, for the verification of your length, you have to place some stopper here. So that it you will know it has to go in the same space. After that, you have to build up the composite core, it's just like the restoration, but we can call it as a core because we have to prepare that daily after that. You can see here this is the core build up. Now there is a custom double uh, course that is a direct method as well as the indirect method. The direct acrylic resin double core technique can be used for teeth with a single or multiple roots. When the double core is made for a premolar with two canals, a dowel of optimal length is made for the most desirable canal. And the second one, you can make a very short key so that it will not have the anti rotation device. And so it adds a little, but no retention, but it will not allow your core, core uh, dowel uh, to move in that end. Direct means you have to make directly into the patient's mouth. Uh, indirect means it has to be done in the outside. Uh, for direct method, you make the canal preparation. You have you must have some resin pattern for fabrication there. Then you have finish and cementation of the double core. And there's an indirect method. I'll show you here. This is the uh, how you can do here. This is your uh, you can call this a resin spew you have, first you have to check the length it should be arbitrarily it has to be fit here and then you have to put some of the acrylic resin put it uh, with uh, you have to carry with this resin spew and carry it inside it will capture the it is just like your impression you are taking the impression inside uh, the core and after that you have to build this core build up outside and you see this core is very high here then you can make the um, here all these preparations. This is the tooth preparation here. After this, once you have made this uh, double custom made, this is called custom made. If this part, it will show inside of the root canal. This you have made it according to whatever you required. You have done this. Uh, then you have to 
put it in the uh, this uh, casting you know casting screwing beading all this has to be done when you done the uh, uh, wax removal there is a space there that space has to be filled with the metal this is black color and the same shape it will come into the metal and uh, after this you have to put over it the ceramic and it will put it and this is one system two system is into, uh, you have made the dog with the help of a metal or with a uh, uh, ceramic fiber but later on if it is cast it has to become this ceramic uh, the upper part uh, this is crown and this is dowel it is one system you have to put it directly inside whenever it is removed you have to remove dowel as well as the crown together you can see here the final results same thing i've shown you and the most important core material you can use amalgam you can use composite you can use glass i know and if it is the um, custom made it is the cast system and normally here in the college we are using this composite system in the patient because this composite system it is easy it is, you have uh, immediately you cure it and after that you will start your preparation of the uh, crown after this profession so normally we are doing this composite even you can use a glass annual but you have to do one day you have to do the restoration the another day when it's set then you will call the patient for the rest of the material same with the amalgam okay i hope you understand this exercise you understand this chapter do you have any question girls